And okay, so we last played on Tuesday, today is Thursday. Since I wanted to keep playing Animal Crossing every day, I just uh, turned off Origami King, so we lost our progress of beating the boss. But I just went ahead and replayed it real quick, it took like 15 minutes. Um, I mean, I'll probably mention it again earlier, but this boss is uh, actually not that fun <laughs> when you when you already know what you have to do. It goes by a little quicker, but yeah. The other reason why I wanted to replay this was because um, we um, we got our coins back. Because <laughs> the first time we did this, we um, we spent like 2,000 coins, probably more, 3,000. This time I only spent like 200. It's a hole puncher. This is a hole puncher. <laughs> A dancing hole puncher. And I've got a setup here on the last turn. I've made some interesting discoveries about this boss. It's uh, kind of an annoying fight, not gonna lie. Let's see, can I get this chest? I guess I can't even do anything with it. So yeah, with just one move, I was able to like basically get this set up, which is basically perfect, so... Yeah... I guess I can try and go for the times two power. Just for fun, I don't know. And the coins. That doesn't matter. Hopefully I didn't fuck up. Wait, did I fuck that up? I just remembered, I'm using the turtle. Okay, good. I got my turns mixed up. I thought I was on the last turn. This is like the second to last turn. So I made a couple discoveries. Uh, jumping on him, unless he's flipped over like this, jumping on him does no damage no matter what. Even if you're like initiating the attack from behind him. Like you have to use the hammer on his underside if you want to get like any, any damage on him. Uh, I would like... I would like my arm please, although we don't need it. <laughs> I also discovered that what happened last time, where I initiated the Thousand Arm atta Arms attack, and I, I seemingly fucked up the, uh, you know, the inputs, like I, I screwed up the anime finisher, that happened again this time, so that might be scripted? I don't know, because this time I got it really early in the fight, and it would make sense if maybe early in the fight they were like, okay, well we don't want people to finish him off this early. But it could also just be that I messed it up both times. I genuinely don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should replay it again. No, let's not. It's a little unintuitive, I think, because I think you have to continue holding it. Like, you hold it here. And then you never let go until you're done. So, like, grip. Yeah, so you're not supposed to let go during that whole bit, even though Mario is letting go at one point. Whatever. <laughs> oh man, why do you have to harsh my groove? We had it bumping in here. Let's keep it going anyway. Disco forever. Count it down. All their faces just snapped back into place. All that's left to do is to get rid of that streamer. Yeah, don't say. Hi, Gavin. Yeah, it has been a little while, hasn't it? I hope you've been well. What's going on in here? It looks like there's uh, some stuff going on back here. Potentially. Is this for... yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, 
I've been doing fine. I missed watching streamers, but I'm back now. I'm happy to hear it. We only have two streamers left now, the green and the purple. What is this? Oh, oh, it's this. He put the sun in the disco ball. Of course he did. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's very stupid. <laughs> Hooray. Now there's a new thing over there. Okay. That's probably the way to the next streamer. Another streamer down. Good job, us. You were such a big help, Professor. Yay, no more yellow streamer. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for getting my face back. I really needed it this week. <laughs> the sun is back to its usual sweltering self, too. Thank you. Oh no. After party in Shroom City. What, what? Oh dear. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, thank you. Thanks for the help, Mario. You can hit me up at the hotel in town anytime you like. Bandages are half off on money. Mummy's night. <laughs> Come check out my set down by the pool. It's hot. See you at the hotel. Will the sniffits and the toads live in harmony? We did not clear this area. Boo! <laughs> this place sucks. We're leaving. Bye, Professor. Nice knowing you. The sun is back where it belongs. It's so bright, like we're in an actual desert. I honestly preferred it before. Professor, what's the matter? I've got it. The sun was the key all along. Come, we must get to the sun altar right away. So there's anything new to do here. Is the I thought the sun altar was like back here. I guess not. Professor Toad. Neat. Oh yeah, so we actually got news about this game recently. Um, we had that interview before about the developer was saying they weren't. Something along the lines of they weren't allowed to make original characters anymore based on the pre-existing Mario characters, if that makes sense. And today they clarified it a little bit, but... I mean, it's still basically the same thing we already knew. So he basically said they aren't allowed to make any changes to pre-existing characters that... Uh, that imply, like, a specific gender or a specific... I don't know, that gender wasn't the only example, but yeah, they weren't allowed to give them like accessories and things that make them look distinct, basically. Oh, it was like gender and age and a couple other things, so that's like that's why there are no old toads or young toads. In TTYD you had like small toads. 
But yeah, that just really gives the impression that they got very specific instructions from Nintendo to not do those things. What is that guy doing? Oh, he's a he's a giant. I I couldn't tell with the with the perspective. Look at this, you two. The altar has opened up to reveal some kind of entrance. This may contain what I have been seeking. Proof of the Ancient Ones themselves. Oh ho, oh. wait until they hear about this back at the university. I expect registration for my spring semester courses will be at an all-time high. I'm not sure what the professor is talking about, but I'm sure glad he's so happy. It's all thanks to you two, of course. This may have remained sealed forever if you hadn't been able to return the sun to the sky. I'm certain we'll find even more to celebrate, perhaps even a solid lead on the legendary Captain Teod himself. I forgot about that part of the story. <laughs> well, this is interesting. It's almost like the chapter is just continuing now. <laughs> One thing I plan to do... Yeah, I'd say it's generally a good idea. In the interview, they did talk about how, like, with that restriction in this game, they had to work really hard to give all the toads distinct uh, dialogue so they stick out. So, you know, there's kind of, like, you could almost spin that as, like, an upside. That, like, they were forced to be more creative with the dialogue to make the toads more memorable. But even still, it's, you should just, <laughs> you should still make them look different if you can help it. Is it absolutely freezing in here, or is it just me? I thought we restored the sun. Why is it so chilly in here? Although we are in the desert, we have now descended below its surface, where the sun's warming rays cannot reach us. Actually, the mere lack of sunlight cannot explain this degree of chill. I retract my explanation. <laughs> my word, what in the name of peer-reviewed study is that? It's ice. A huge chunk. That's why it's so cold, Professor. I get it now. Look at all the fridges. <laughs> it's just a bunch of open fridges. <laughs> The refrigerations of technology on display is more sophisticated than I could have ever imagined. Mother of graduate students, there's someone in there. <laughs> the... The... <laughs> I just like the implication that the Ancient Ones... Like, kind of like cryogenically freezing themselves, but instead of using, like, advanced technology, they just use fridges. Judging by the distinctive red spots, and the unmistakable cloak. Could it be? It's Captain Teod himself. He's really real. This is no mere clue. It's the real deal. I must excavate the site and save him immediately. There's a hidden block here. I would have had a hard time finding that, because that's that counts as being a part of the desert area. I'm glad I found that now. We can melt that. Uh, let's go for it. We're desecrating an ancient burial. He also burned the meat, or cooked it. Nice throwback. He's not moving. Oh, I hope he can be revived. Maybe he's just different being frozen for so long, poor guy. Should I try heating him up with fire again? That won't be necessary. Burn not paper with fire, lest ye yourself become singed. He's alive, and he speaks the same language as us. Kind of. Allow me to introduce myself. I recognize this song. I am indeed the Toad, known as Ode Captain Toad, to be precise. I have survived the interminable... Interminable? Passage of aeons here in this arctic prison. Now I am free. Captain T. Ode? Of course. Mario Olivia. I think he means Captain T. Ode. <laughs> At last, I can finally save, say I've met a real ancient one myself. Now then, down to serious academic business. 
there is a simple question that has plagued researchers and archaeologists for time immemorial. Now, in this historic moment, I have the opportunity to go directly to the source. What an occasion! Okay, Captain, my Captain, we have studied the diet of the ancients based on artifacts and oral traditions in the region. But there's one thing that is as completely stumped. How did you take your coffee? Cream and three sugars. <laughs> three sugars! It's beyond my wildest imagination. What a breakthrough. You ancient ones have probably forgotten more about coffee than we will ever know. You ancient ones have probably forgotten more about coffee than we will ever know. My work here is done. Wow, coffee with three sugars. You must really like sugar. How interesting. <laughs> Why do you seem so sad, Mr. Captain? Is it because you were frozen, or did something else happen to you? In this moment, I am as... I am as a bird in a cage. I yearn to sail free at the helm of my merino underneath the great cresting waves. Did you say merino? Do you know about the super merino? That's so weird. How did you get to the musée already? So my merino rests in the musée, as you call it? It is no place for her adventurous spirit. She yearns to break free. He has a submarine <laughs> and fridges, so he's not an ancient one. <laughs> you have my thanks, strange one. I know what I must do. Oh, okay. I wonder if he's headed to the musée. He sure seems to care about that merino. It was hard for me to understand anything he was saying. I guess that's ancient language for you. It was in italics, actually. It was... okay. Sorry to interrupt, but I haven't made an archaeolog archaeological discovery in over five minutes. I'm just kidding. A little academic humor. Oh ho. Thank you both for all of your help. You've made my dream come true. We should be thanking you. You were such a big help in the desert, Professor. Should we head out and try to find the next streamer? How is Professor Toad going to sacrifice himself? I don't, I don't get it. What's the Great Sea? Where is it? Maybe someone back in Toad Town will know. Should we go there? Well, that counts as a rescue Toad. See, what was nice about Goombella is I don't even think she gave you instructions most of the time. She usually just, like, talked about the area and the characters when you tried talking to her. Well, all right then. Where are we going? <laughs> Toad Town. All right. So is Professor Toad gonna join us? Probably not. I'll probably just stay here. I kind of want to go back to the city real quick. That makes sense, right? Are they just fighting? Is it like a race war? No, it's back to normal. Welcome to Shroom City, previously known as Sniff City. Previously, no, previously known as Shroom City. Those toads aren't so bad, I guess. They've accepted our sniffitly ways. Well, this is wholesome. Yeah, the Sniffits came in and pretty much took over, but to be honest, we weren't really doing much with the place anyway. Did we ever go in here? I don't know if we did. This guy was just here when I got back, so we live together now. Very progressive. I can hear your voice on my side of the room again. <laughs> I guess I should put the toad sensor back on. Seesawing is fun. Well, that's cool. I moved here for the climate back when the sun was gone. So this is just open now? That's so weird. <laughs> Q. 
you. It's almost recycling day. <laughs> Is that all the toads? I guess not. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Now we're doing this. Oh, just wait here. Hmm. I know it's like his roots sitting on the chair, but like without context, it looks like he's like facing you and those are his arms. He's like kneeling on the ground and those are like his arms, you know? Glad I thought to try that. So I'm guessing the way this works with Professor Toad is that just whenever we return here to this like chapter three area, we just get him back. Which is cool. The sun is out and all the toads are back in Shroom City. Plus like a hundred snippets, I guess. They learn to live together in peace. I heard that smart guy toad with the fancy hat is studying at the hotel here. Uh, pardon me. Are the stairs fixed yet? How do we get up here? There's a toad here. I guess I see it up there, but... Oh wait, that's a shadow. Well, in that case, how do I... I probably... Like, it's probably on the, the light, right? I just don't know how to get it off. Hmm. Can I... Get on the side rail? I bet I could do it if I was on the other side. Oh. Well, there we go. Was I able to do this before? Okay, now how do I get over there? Okay, well for now I'll just try and get this. There's something funny about the grass around here, but I'm too sleepy to investigate. I keep meaning to press Y. No, this button. Something funny about the grass here. he could be implying, unless it's like right here. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Take that. Here we go. Do 
Is everything just like flashing green and purple in front of your eyes, or is it just me? But I think it also would have been funny if his colors were just like faded completely from overexposure. All right, let's see if we can't get up there now. Uh, there we go. That wasn't hard. It's good to be back and to have my face back. Wow, is it weird that I said the face part second? <laughs> going on up here. This is conspicuous. Maybe that's just to get over. I never give up hope, not even when you pass by without seeing me 347 times. It would be really funny if they actually kept count of how many times you, like, came to the city and left. And he could tell you, like, the exact number. But we still don't have all the toads, which is honestly surprising. Oh, hey. I forgot about this. It's a good thing I redid the boss fight and got back like 3,000 coins. It helped, I suppose. We can also buy shiny iron hammers now if we want. Are you the one we saved just now? It's totally worth it, right? The music changed. Do you think there's room for three? This guy, my new lounge chair buddy, is such a character. I've been waiting for someone to share this lounger with me. You feeling it, Mario? Woo woo. Yes, I live in this hotel. What of it? Don't worry, I'm laminated. What's this guy's deal? I'm never gonna get this place clean. Okay. Still finding more toads. Wait, have I been missing a pool party? Just fold me back up, Mario. There we go. I found all the toads in Shroom City without a guide. Feels good. There were quite a few of them. Yo, 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 good to see you again. Oh, neat. Well, he's got a lot of sound discs back. I'm never gonna get to play that set, am I? Did you hear that the sketchy lamp shop went out of business? Looks like a toad is interested in the space. I wonder what that guy has in mind. Maybe I should go look. The hotel is going through a reorg, but I was able to keep my job. No one can pace like me. Welcome, I'm new here, and I don't have any idea what I'm doing yet. Uh, come back when I'm trained? Well, I know it's only been half an hour, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream. No, I'm joking. I'm just gonna use the bathroom real quick. Be right back. Alright. Well, I mean, we're basically done here, but... Yeah, we can leave. I will allow it. I guess we can go look at the rooms? I don't want to spend too much time, but... Could be fun. It's basically just like after Chapter 2 when we spend some time exploring Shogun Studios. It's cool that you can just go back and do this after each boss. So far, at least. I should put this on, shouldn't I? No. Just in case. 
Yeah, we found the one in here. There's a block here? But where? I mean, I can think of one spot, but like if it were like here where I think it is, like wouldn't that obscure the view of the hotel? <laughs> yeah, there's a hidden block here somewhere. Maybe it's up here? No. It's not here. That's where I thought it was. Maybe on the left side of the building? So it's symmetrical? Or just somewhere else entirely? The radar is not very specific. Can you believe this merchant stall is vacant and filled with some really weird old lamps? I figured I'd take over the business, and I owe it all to you for saving me back in the ruins. Here, take this. Lamp scam. <laughs> scam is kind of an understatement. But now I'm out of lamps, so I guess I'll shut it down. <laughs> Pretty good. I think we we found like everything here. Just one more block. Well, presumably one more. Since we're so close, I almost want to go look for the last block. I was gonna save it for later, but now I want to find it. I mean, it's not like anybody's here anyway. <laughs> we're rocking one viewer right now. It's been a while. Ah, uh, yes. One viewer. My old friend. I mean, really, the way I approach streaming is different from the way other people do. I don't try to get bigger in any meaningful way. I just don't feel like it, I guess. It's more so just a way for me to hang out with friends. Even when I was younger, but not that much younger, so like... You know, 14 to 18, like, during that period, I always really wished it were easier to just stream gameplay on Skype, so you could just play games with friends that way, and they could just watch you play, and you can hang out and have a good time, but it was never that easy. <laughs> like, on Skype, you could, for a while, you could actually, um, share your Dazzle capture device. It actually let you do that. Maybe it still does. But you couldn't do audio that way. You, you couldn't do audio that way for the game. And I mean, yeah. It was just really janky trying to stream gameplay directly to your friends back then. And with Twitch, it's kind of sort of like the same thing. Except you're not really talking to them in real time. It's, it's different in a couple other ways, but you get the idea. And now with Discord, it, you can do literally exactly the thing I described, so that's cool. I have no idea where this block is, by the way. Like, there are no obvious spots for it. Usually there's, like, a pretty obvious spot, you know what I mean? <coughs> I saw a tweet the other day. It was like, okay, can we talk about how men insist they have to sneeze loudly? And I was like, yes. I do have to sneeze, no sneeze loudly. I wish I could control it. I come from a line, a long line of men who sneeze loudly. Pardon me. Oh, do you think? I'm stupid, aren't I? It was so obvious all along. There you have it. Alright, we're done here. Pack it up, boys. Eventually, we'll be doing this for every area. <laughs> Look forward to that. I'm gonna at least try to do it all on stream, but I'll probably end, probably end up doing some searching off-stream as well. Which reminds me, I've been meaning to bring back the Pokemon Reborn Let's Play on the YouTube channel. Like my main YouTube channel, which... I guess isn't really my main YouTube channel anymore. It's just, uh... It's complicated for a couple of reasons. When I left off playing that game, I had done, like, an off-screen playing session where I just went around and did some side quests and shit. And I had done that before in the series, but what I would do is I would, like, come back the next episode with, like, just a slideshow of the stuff I did. Or, like, a recap of what I did off-stream, just so people had a rough idea of what I found. It's awkward when 
you do that and then wait like four or five years before doing the recap. So I'll have to dig up the old footage and I'll, you know, it's it's just not going to be <laughs> easy. I decided that for like our first comeback episode, I'll probably just skip doing that. But I will have to do that recap eventually, probably, just to satiate myself. So you're going to stay here, right? Yep. Why don't I wait here for you? I'm really more comfortable in the desert. When you say you're going to wait here, do you mean like literally right there in that spot? It's kind of weird that he says he's going to wait for us. Like, I get that, like, we need him to explore that area fully, but I don't know. I thought they could have come up with a better explanation for why. I don't know. Because he says he's waiting for us, but we're not... We don't have, like, a story reason for going back there. Anyway, I won't dwell on it. We will, and we will investigate that later. Now we're all alone. No Bobby. No Professor Toad. I bet if we tried coming back here with Bobby, it wouldn't have let us do that either, either, and that would have made it really clear that he wasn't gonna follow us with the whole game. Right? Ooh, new music. Alright, this is bothering me. We have to figure out what's going on here with this with this Goomba. It's time. The sensor lab on Picnic Road, they tried their latest gizmo. The hidden block on hider. Well, that sounds very helpful. Thank you. How do I get up here? Okay, I see it. <laughs> How could I not see it before? It's obvious. Is it in the foreground or what? I have to jump through a window, clearly. I just don't see where. Is he from... Mario, thanks again for helping with that nasty business back in Shroom City. I owe you one. Please feel free to pick these up at your leisure. Excuse me? As an additional sign of gratitude, I have unlocked all of the doors in my fabulous man's... Well, damn, alright. All the doors? What? <laughs> Were there other doors? You just saved me. I think he probably would have... What? You just saved me. I think he probably would have had me made into the rug. Thinking emoji. Maybe it's that door there? That makes sense. So he unlocked that door. But then how do I get up here? <laughs> Let's put the toad sensor back on, just because. This will haunt me for the rest of my life. Hi, Sniffit. Isn't that Toad concerned about, like, the Goomba dude on his roof? He unlocked all the doors in his manse. Whatever that means, but I can't access it. <laughs> There's only one door, too. Unless it's, I mean... I guess we're just supposed to come back later. I don't know. Thanks, Toad. Oh, there's a seal over there! So we come in through that way. What? <laughs> I think they got me here. I am big clueless. Unless it's like a pipe? That Goomba will just continue to, ha to haunt me for the rest of the game, I guess. Feels bad. What was I doing? <laughs> okay, I think we have to go to the dock. That's why we're here. I should check the... 
accessory shop again, right? Gold time plus. Ally Tambourine raises attack power for all of your allies for a little bit. Is that little bit at the start of each battle? I guess so. That's what I'm guessing. Unless it's like an, a weapon you can use, but it can't be. It's an accessory. Yeah, there it is. Raises attack power for all of your allies for a little bit. I kind of just like having these two on. <laughs> Keep things simple. This is where we're supposed to go, right? Maybe I should ask Olivia again, just to be sure. Alright. Maybe the submarino comes into play later. The only word you could use to describe it is epic. Well, that and great, I guess. So I did, you could say I got spoiled on this, but it was more so just uh, someone complaining about this thing on Twitter. <laughs> How, uh, Something from Color Splash got recycled in this game, it seems. You'll see later. A fat sack of precious coins right into the old... I, I guess if... We'll probably get access to the uh, submarine later, and then we can get the coins, I guess? Yeah, check it out. The streamer dips into the sea. How are we supposed to follow it down there? Where do you think the purple streamer goes? We better not. We, we'd better not lose sight of it. I guess we're supposed to just go down, go back to Toad Town now. All right, fair enough. Is that the ship back there? Sure enough. What if I just went back there? Oh, it just pops up over there. Okay, well, I guess we're supposed to just keep going then. There it is. <laughs> Whoa, a vast. The fog is unbelievable. Can't see through it all. We'd just get lost in that mess. Better turn back before we get ourselves in trouble. Ah, what a pain in the port bow. Wish we had a sea chart. Then we can navigate through this haze. Say, speaking of sea charts, you two ever heard the legend of the legendary Captain Ode? Legends speak of a legendary toad who moved beneath the waves and owned a legendary sea chart. But those are just tall tales. Not much truth behind them, I reckon. Hey, number rat. If only they were true, a sea chart like that might help us cut right through this blasted fog. Do you mean Captain Teod? We know that guy. He said he'd be at the musee. Ha ha ha, ah, you jokers. That might be the most ridiculous fib I've ever heard. You met a legendary captain from ancient times, and he's just hanging out in a dusty old museum? Ha! You're serious? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head straight for that museum. Chapter 3. Um, I had to refight the boss battle real quick. <laughs> uh, Hole Punch died because I killed him. Uh, the disco ball in that room had the sun in it, so we returned the sun back to the sky. And that opened some ruins, and that was where we found Captain Teode, who had been frozen uh, by a bunch of refrigerators. And then he said he wanted his submarine back. I did the anime finisher, yes. <laughs> the, you know, okay, let's talk about that. That anime finisher, not as exciting as the other two. I'm just going to say it. So, like, you smash him a couple times with your fist... 
and then you rip off his, like, rubber thing on the bottom. But, like, it's... It happens so quickly, it's like you're not even sure what the inputs are supposed to be, which might be why I scooted up both times, but I'm still not sure about that. I think it would have been a little cooler if you picked it up <laughs> describing how I would brutally murder a hole puncher. Hold on. Uh, if you picked him up by the rubber part and then just kind of swung him around <laughs> until it ripped off. Nintendo, hire me. You need me. I know how to brutalize household, I guess even just office, desktop devices. Captain Teod? You mean Captain Teod? He's... he's not real, you know. He's all just an ancient legend. Quite colorful, to be sure, but imaginary. Hey, the sign says no paladin the Merino. You're in direct violation of the sign. Ah, my precious Merino. Still beautiful, still formidable, and yet time marches on. Hey, were we just talking about you? We were just talking about you. So did you find the, uh, thingy you were looking for? The seed chart. That's what it was. I hope you have it. What is lost may never be found. All that remains is a shattered reflection, like a teardrop in a pond. But yes, I have the seed chart. I propose a trade. Convey me and my vessel to the Great Sea, and you shall have my chart. And yes, this song was in Color Splash. It, 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 it played earlier, actually. Sorry I'm late, but I think I heard everything while I was running in. You want to get that... you want to get that rigged to the Great Sea? I'm your toad. A submarine on a boat? Two famous captains? I can't wait. What about my exhibit? It's the star attraction. I can't curate something else out of thin air. We did it. Alrighty. You should be good to go here. You decide you want to rig up a few more outboats? Outboots? Give that vessel some real oomph? You call me. You have my gratitude. And you may now have this. Sea chart. Yay, thank you so much. I can't wait to adventure on the sea. Who knows what kinds of amazing things we'll see. <laughs> if only he could look old, damn it. Whoa, has anyone ever rhymed those two words before? I must say, this whole situation with Captain Tio being real is what we in the museum business call completely bananas. That said, there is no disputing the ancient texts. The Merino is yours, Captain. I wish you good luck and toad speed. And if you should choose to return to my humble museum at any time in the future, I will gladly offer you a personal tour. Farewell. Well, this is going to be super. I'm just so excited that you all have called on me and my boat to help. Can't wait to see what that submarine can do. Going under the water? What'll I think of next? Anyway, I'm ready when you are. A voyage of a thousand fathoms begins with the flooding of a single ballast tank? Ballast tank? I can't read today, in case you couldn't tell. It's been a weird day. I'm gonna go and say it. Press L to view the C-chart. Got it. Let me move on. <laughs> Hello? Oh, okay. The red boat marks your current position. Check my C-chart as you go to keep from getting lost. It's mostly blank right now, but I'll add any new islands we discover along the way. This is cool. Is this Wind Waker? <laughs> I've already mapped one island on this sea. Menacing, skull-shaped. I named it Bonehead Island. Bonehead Island is said to hide a secret tied to the fog surrounding the Great Sea. Let's start there. 
press down to dive in the submarine. If you're diving in a suspicious spot, there's no telling what you'll find. Set a course for Bonehead Island. Make it thusly. It's not really a submarine if it's... Seems like it's more like just a, a crane. <laughs> Whoa. Tilt to examine your surroundings. Press X to steal it. This game sure has motion controls, all right. Heavy bag, a shy guy's precious keepsake, lost at sea. Let's try to return it. It's a bag? Looks like it belongs to someone. Better not peek. Let's peek. You might be able to find yet more unknown treasures. Try diving into suspicious stretches of water. What is a suspicious stretch of water? <laughs> I dropped this. Bloosh. Yeah, I got it. My wallet! You found it? And didn't keep it? Amazing. Please take this reward for being so trustworthy. I'll never let this huge sack of coins out of my sight ever again. It's not like we could open it, open it anyway. We could check this out. Just to see. Oh. The streamer is stuck in the sand down here. We can't follow it like this. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> just sends me it just sends me back up. Alright. Yeah, but it comes back out over there. It's a little weird. So that's the vessel known as the Princess Peach. How subtle. Oh, neat. What is stopping you from yanking the streamers with the claw? I mean, we wouldn't be able to pull it <laughs> at all, really. <laughs> Ah, fog. Fear not, my sea chart shall guide us. What if I just went in the wrong direction? <laughs> What's stopping me? I guess that's true, but it depends on how deep the shimmer goes through the ground. Speaking of color splash. Ooh, sure is creepy. Is it just me or is that big ugly skull face staring at us? Don't surrender to fear. You must explore this island. Secrets await, and I want to hear what they are. Yeah, getting big color splash vibes in this chapter. I mean, I like that chapter, so maybe a lot of people liked it. Fuck. Wait, why did I do that? <laughs> no, that doesn't work. Damn it. Well, I screwed up. I like the music.
Yeah, Professor Toad, uh, when you leave the desert, he's like, I'll wait for you here. And I commented on how weird that is. Why not? I don't know. Why not have, like, a better reason for staying there? We have many toads. In our audience. He's only a partner there, is that what you mean? And yeah. I kind of wonder who the partner will be for this part of the game. I'm actually not 100% sure. I think I might know from the promotional material and stuff, but... Coin step counter? Walk 10,000 steps with this and you'll be rewarded. That's literally all my coins. I guess we'll do it. <laughs> Let me just walk 10,000 steps real quick. Hold on. Oh yeah, you're right. Look at the angel toad. Aren't angel statues like a thing in Doctor Who? I think that might just be like angels. Not angel statues. Why is this here? Oh. Also, before you got here, number red, I found another one of these in uh, Shroom City. <laughs> Welcome, come on in. <laughs> this is a little creepy. Look at the bones up there on the shelf. Welcome to the Bone Dry Cafe. What's your order? Morbid mocha. Ah, oh, yes. You know, Mario, I used to have skin too. What problem is, Mario? You know, like Spoon? You want bar on mine? Coffee here, big tasty. Sir, please don't chew on our spoons. Other people need them. Hey, is that other dry bones okay? He's been collapsed for an hour. The coffee I made must be ice cold by now. Hey, cut him break, pal. Him up all night, prowling. He big, big exhausted. The night shift? That's rough. Let him rest. I'll pour him a fresh cup when he wakes. I bet I spent a hundred of my coins on that. <laughs> I did it. There we go. Got our stockpile of coins back. We went from 500 to 2,000 pretty quickly. I don't know how we did that. Having a four-digit coin count feels so empty. <laughs> You're right. We had a three-digit coin count a second ago. Hello. Oh, okay. Kinda wish I struck you in the overworld, but fine.
Why do the easiest enemies always have to have, like, the most annoying? <laughs> I did my free summons on the new banner, in the Fae. The mythic banner with, uh, with Hell. And I got garbage. <laughs> I was hoping I could get Hell for free, but no. This is odd, okay. This is our first time fighting bloopers. I'm guessing we need the flashy hammer to kill them in, to kill them in one shot. I've also been screwing up the hammer command tonight. <laughs> Can't talk, can't hammer things. It's not my night. Hi, Toad. You saved me as thanks. Let me show you where to find a sunken treasure. I'd claim it, but I'm lazy. Oh. Neat. Thanks, Toad. So, I mean, they did kind of recycle this <laughs> this place from uh, Color Splash, but it doesn't seem like we'll be here that long anyway, so I don't really care. Tomorrow at work, I have to learn how to do CPR for some reason. It's like required HR training or whatever. I learned how to do CPR in high school and I hated it. They made us do it on dummies and everything. It was awful. Just seems like an even worse idea than usual with the virus. Obviously, we're gonna use like filters or whatever, but. That'll be fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to potentially getting out of work early, though, because that's like the only thing we have scheduled all day. I'm guessing we have to make this symmetrical, right? Did I do it? I'm. What? 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 <laughs> Did I do it? What? <laughs> Did I. Did I do it? I did it! <laughs> Completely by accident! <laughs> Three perfect moves. Wow. Yeah, that was not on purpose. I did not remember that at all. Everything I do is optimal. Submarine Marino. I hope they explain how an ancient captain could have a submarine. I'm like genuinely curious about that. I feel like there's probably a punchline there somewhere. I really wanted him to like not have eyes or something or just have like giant holes where his eyes would usually be. If you seek paradise, gather the three orbs on Diamond Island. Pair of dice? What in the world is this statue talking about? Can you not read, Olivia? Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Color splash references galore, I guess. <laughs> Back into the ocean. <laughs> Wow, the fog totally vanished. That was amazing. Seek and ye shall find. Come, follow me to paradise. This sounds like fun. But, well, I guess we need to deal with the purple streamer first. I think we can leave now, right? Alright, cool. Whoa. I'm lost at sea, see? Hey, being stranded. Can't stand it. Been waiting for a rescue from you. You can come with us. We have room. Probably. Hold on, hold on. Look at that. 100% Bonehead Island. The Bonehead Master right here. Alright, do we go for the treasure first or do we go for the, the diamonds or whatever? That awful fog is finally gone. Now we can explore the rest of this big ol' ocean. There's the streamer over there. Let's follow it. The new engine. Oh, you know what I forgot about? Shoot. We have a new uh, gadget we can get. This is... odd. What? <laughs> Nothing here. Oh. Alright then, I guess we can't really interact with him much. Well, this is a little awkward. Um, I do want to go back and get that gadget or whatever it is. <laughs> this was already a very suspicious spot. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not so sure we needed that Toad's extra guidance, but whatever. Remember that time we streamed Endless Ocean? Good times. Let's see, where are we at? Paper Macho Mummy Goomba. All right, let's go back to Toad Town before I forget. <laughs> what's the What's the fastest way to get back to that lab? I don't think there's a teleport. No, there is a te there is a teleporter in Toad Town, isn't there? It's like the orange one. This latest boat engine we've got going is no joke. It's twice as fast, ten times as fun, and a million times more dangerous. I literally don't have 5,000 coins to it, I'm sorry. Toad, I'm poor. Okay? I needed the weird coin tracking pedometer. Sp pedometer? Right? Yeah.
pedometer sounds wrong. Anyway, at long last, my opus is complete. My work has reached its zenith. My hidden block on Hyder will turn nearby hidden blocks into regular unhidden blocks. We've taken this paradigm and hurled it into the lake of progress. Be gone, paradigm! Hop down that pipe and I'll give you the quick primer on how to work the hidden block on Hyder. The device will alert you if and when you're facing a hidden block. I spent like five or six minutes earlier looking for a hidden block. <laughs> this would have been nice. When you know you're close, a simple jump or a swing of your hammer will do the trick. Find the hidden blocks before the battery runs out. That wasn't much of a challenge. Pretty clearly, like, right about here, but for some reason I can't. Oh, is it? There we go. I'm not gonna lie, I don't love the way the HD rumble feels in my hands when I find a hidden block like this. It's a little strong. <laughs> There's another one. Am I about to fail? <laughs> stupid. I am actually about to run out of battery. No, stop. <laughs> oh, thank god. Alright. <laughs> that was actually close. I can't believe I almost got outwitted by a block. We have shifted every existing paradigm. A new era of superior sensory apparatus is dawning. You know what to do, Mario. Take this hidden block and hider with you. Find every question mark block out there. Most importantly, if it explodes, do not tell anyone. I've already sent some rather boastful faxes. I guess I could find a new hobby? Maybe I'll learn how to fold origami. Terrorist. Is today the last day of July? No, it's tomorrow. Okay. I still have to do many, many quests in Fire Emblem Heroes. And have to check Animal Crossing too and make sure there's not like any bugs or fish leaving in July. I don't think there's very many of them, but I want to make sure. Okay. I don't have a quick and easy way to make coins, so I guess we're just going to go back out. Yeah, I prefer it if it was more audio based, but I get they want to use the HD Rumble for stuff, so. When does that one March fish you missed come back? Probably September, if I had to guess. It's it's not that far away, thankfully. Okay. I guess we're just kind of exploring openly now, right?